very interesting and important table about the situation these days in Israel. There's no doubt that anybody who listen to the news in Israel sees that Israel is in a trap. From one side, pressure from Obama, Kerry, Europe to make peace, negotiation with Abu Mazen, with the Palestinians. From the other side, pressure from within not to release terrorists, murderers. Then, on the other side, they wanted to build some settlements to develop some settlements. From the other side, pressure, don't do it. If you will do, we'll not come to the negotiation. So it is a terrible situation. From all over, in Hebrew you called such a situation milkud. In a trap, they are really in a trap. You know, cannot go out. You try to do this one, then the other one comes. This one to satisfy the other one, this one doesn't. So this is really the situation that our Rabbi Stella said in the Talmud, in the Gemara, that it will be a situation like a man was beaten or stung by a wasp and a scorpion, for which the medicine is completely opposite. Cold from one and hot from the other one. If one is stung for, by a scorpion and a wasp, definitely whatever it will do, it will not be good from the other side. So wasp and scorpion represent different powers, mystically, there's the Arabs, and the Adam, we're not going to it now, but this is the situation Israel are now, so we're looking for this expression, which is called Bemilkud, in a trap, Israel Bemilkud, so we're looking in the book Deuteronomy, which is against our southern, and we look for the word Israel, you see Israel, this was the best meeting game, Israel, and you see here the word Be Milkud, which means Israel is a trap. Now, what is a trap? So, clearly, we can see the situation Obama from one side and Kerry definitely all together. And the situation that Ivechem is Aviv, you all these enemies surround you, you know, the Arabs all over. And, yeah. You see, all your enemies now are around, and definitely they want the land, they want all these things. So, no doubt that the situation is very, very severe, and we don't know what will come out with this. But what is important for us are the verses which the Torah tells us to do in order to get rid of this kind of terrible troubles. And this is the first thing of Pia Torah Shari Rucha, to go in the ways of the Torah, and realizing that the Taba, El Arz, you come to the land, Asher Hashem Elokech Anotin Lecha. God gives to you, Lot Id Mala Asot, Ketobot Ogem, don't learn to do like those abominable, despicable things of the Goyim, and unfortunately, we have it in Israel, what you can do. And then, looking again, the Torah warns us, Lot et tamaita, don't defile, don't come, make the land impure. Lot et tamaita al machasha, Hashem kirem lecha nachala, which God keeps you. So exactly telling us that again, unfortunately, things are not kept properly. Tuma, we have, we have tuma, unfortunately. And what we realize, we should really, land, Eretz Yisrael is a land flowing with milk and honey. But again, only if Hashem, you will do what Hashem will do what Hashem that God commands you to do. Unfortunately, we have a government with the PID and by TOD, which really are fighting against the Torah, against Shivot, even against Shabbat Sam. So, we have really government, Memshalaru, which is curse. This is what the Orthodox people say, that really we are now in a big curse from this kind of government. We try to do everything to fight Torah, to fight Yeshiva, to, to spoil uh, the youth, our youth, yeah, which are studying Torah, which are really learning in uh, proper places of Torah. So, no doubt that all the situations that Israel today are in, this trapped situation, no doubt that it is a result 
of not keeping Torah. What we can do, fighting with the Torah, desecrating the Shabbat, doing wrong things, going and falling on this despicable race of the nations. Yeah, unfortunately, we know what is going on. Now let us hope that also what is written here will come. Mashiach Hashem, yeah, Mashiach Hashem is the Messiah of God twice, Mashiach Hashem, maybe again Messiah ben Yosef, Mashiach ben David. Let's us hope that really seeing and realizing what happens if we are fighting the Torah, if we don't keep the Torah, if we desecrate the Shabbat, fighting against modesty, definitely this is what brings to all these troubles to us, where we are now. So let us realize it's only doing Shiva, going in the race of Hashem, realize that God gave us the land. And when we are sure that God gave us the land, we did not conquer it, like, unfortunately, we're not believing in the Torah, this is what you think, and what's the other thing? So this is why it's so easily we give up the land, because not realizing, not believing in the Torah, not keeping Torah. So let us do Shiva, repentance, Elul is the time for it, and then we'll marry to have Mashiach Hashem coming soon in our time.